what's up? It's me, Percy. So today I have my friend Amanda, Hi. who has done the Disney College program with me the first time, and now she's in the Disney College program with me again. So today I keep getting a lot of questions about Percy. Talk about the Disney College program. So we're going to do that today, and this is why I'm bringing Amanda in, because she's done the program Wait, we look here, right? Yeah, yeah, because I can't keep trying to look. Stop looking there. <laughs> Don't no, look I keep going there. back and forth. You can't. To initially sign up for, for the Disney College program, you have to, one, have completed one semester of college, right? Yes, and be 18. Be 18 years old. And, what and else? be in college when be you apply. In, yes, and you have to be in college, yeah. Oh, another huge question I always get. Can international students do the program? Yes! Yes! Because the first program we had, we had a couple of people from Spain, right? Mm -hmm. And the UK. Yup. And then uh, um, there was a lot of people from all over the world at Disney World, the Disney World College program. There were tons of international students and tons mm -hmm. of people from all over America. Um, for the Disneyland College program, I've seen a lot of students from Asia and everything, but I haven't seen any like Spain or Europe. I mean, I mean Spain is in Europe. Once, okay, when you decide that you're gonna apply for the program, you put in your, your like actual overall application, obviously Disney's gonna look at you, look over your application, and then you get passed on to the next step, which is... The web-based interview. <laughs> the web-based interview. Now, web-based interviews, they can be tricky. Very yeah, tricky. Yeah, a lot of people actually don't All really right. pass that. Yeah, no, people don't really pass that. Why don't you tell them your experience with the web based interview? Because mainly just stay consistent with your answers because what they're going to be like. Are you excited about meeting new people and things like that? Just be positive but also honest. Yeah, honest and positive. Yes. Two main keys. If you pass the web based interview, your next step is the phone interview. Now this one can be tricky. Why don't you give your advice on phone web interview first? With, um, yeah, first you'll be picking what roles you want mm -hmm. to apply for, yes. and so be prepared with answers like why you want to do these roles, mainly your top three, yes. <laughs> which you'll focus on, and they'll want to know what background you have in those and why you want to do them. Print everything out, yes. or have like seven computers in front of you about, like, you just need to like go over and think of like smart answers in your head. Um, I will admit there is a blog out there that gave a couple of the questions away, mm -hmm. um, but I can't tell you each qu each question in your phone interview will always be different. It's always going to be different. Um, but one question that we both realized that we both had many times, I mean you've had it <laughs> a lot, and then I've had it. I, I remember it in my first interview, I'm pretty sure I had it in my first interview, and then I had it in my second one, so why don't you tell them what that question is? <laughs> Do you prefer working in a group or by yourself? Huge question. So make sure you just have all the roles that you're interested in, your top three roles. You want to make sure you read over it before your phone interview, but you also want to make sure you have it out in front of you during your phone interview. Um, and the first question is always, why do you want to work for the Disney company and how will it help you in the future? Exactly. So yeah, I would I wrote all the answers out beforehand and would practice them so I wouldn't yeah. have to look at it while I was taking the but before we say that you got in, we want to say that the three roles that we chose were... What were your first three roles that you chose be before you got into the Walt Disney World program? Costuming, attractions, and character attendant. I think I was photo pass, costuming, and um, character attendant too. Which one did you get? Costuming! And I got entertainment costuming as well! And so we actually worked um, on the parades in the Magic Kingdom two years ago. And we did uh, celebrate a dream come true and just move and shake it, celebrate it. All right, let's say you are in! Yes, okay, you're in. So now you'll have an offer, of course, where you either get chosen for the Disneyland College Program or the Disney World College Program. So what was your favorite memory from your first Disney College Program? I really liked working on the overnight rehearsals for the parade, like being in the park after hours, backstage, it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. You have to look at your Disney College Program experience as the best time or the worst time of your life. It all depends on your mindset and how you're going to be positive or negative. Huge tip that I have to offer you, and Amanda can relate to this as well. Our first program 
when you choose, there is a way to choose roommates, okay? You can either, there are tons of Facebook pages, tons of Facebook pages. You just go on there and you try to find people that you can connect with. You can fill out roommate surveys about like the things you have in common. I would always look if they liked Harry Potter and yes. that would be the roommate I would go after. We'll be completely honest. With you guys right now, this is probably the most negative thing I'm going to say throughout this whole video. I got lucky my first program with my roommates, okay? This program, no. I'm so sorry. No. And you can say it too, because your first program, you had great roommates. Yes. Second program, uh, no. This one's, but this program is good roommates. Yeah, this, this <laughs> program for her, she lucked out big time. I so much didn't. Um, Make sure you stalk the crap out of your roommates on Facebook, okay? As soon as you can, find the ones you want to you wanna, like team up with, room with, in your room and everything, and just talk to them. Mm -hmm. Stalk them. Just stalk them. Find them on Twitter, Tumblr, uh, uh, Flickr account, or uh, what, what's, that? what's that business page or whatever. LinkedIn. <laughs> LinkedIn. Find them on LinkedIn because you need to stalk them and you need to get their background information and make sure they're not crazy, whacked up psychos. Yeah, try to talk to them some before the program starts. Maybe yeah. See if you're compatible. Yeah. Make sure you have the same interest. Yeah, we're just, yeah take advantage of when we get to do backstage tours of rides and all the fun stuff or trips yeah. wherever you go. That's, that's a lot of fun. We can close this out with saying our favorite experience for each one. Um, I love Walt Disney World and I love Disneyland. The thing about Disneyland compared to Walt Disney World, yes, Walt Disney World's huge! But Disneyland is where, this is the only park that Disney has ever set foot in and walked around and everything. And that's really cool for me. Mm -hmm. But with saying that, my favorite program was at Walt Disney World when I was entertainment costuming in spring of 2013. Cool. I agree. Mine was also at Walt Disney World, my first program, which was the Spring Advantage from January to August from, in 2013. Yep. Yes. And yeah, it was just amazing. It's your first time working there and had great roommates and it was just a lot of fun. If you guys have any questions at all, Amanda does have, she does have a YouTube and she'll be getting on there and she'll be like, hey, this is all my answer. So if you see a comment from Wendy Bird 33 53. 53. My bad. Well, no, no. Okay. So if you see a comment from Windy Bird 53 it's Amanda and she's more than willing because sometimes I get bombarded with questions and everything and I don't know how to exactly answer and Amanda's more smart than I am. Is that even I good grammar? That's smarter. not even good grammar. I just like smarter. answering questions about Disney. If you have any questions about the Disney College program, you can leave them down below and she's going to jump on them and answer them all. She can definitely do that. She's very knowledgeable. <laughs> knowledgeable. This is, this is the positive thing, okay? You've got things like Amanda to look forward to when you go to Disney College program because we've been friends for about two years now. And uh, we have one friend, Cassie, who is... I mean, you, you probably have seen her in some of my stuff and everything. We've been friends since our first program. And this is like, there's a lot of things to look forward to. Like, lifelong friends, lifelong enemies. <laughs> I still have friends in Walt Disney World. It's really great to look at them on Facebook and see how they're doing and everything. Like, there was one guy that I worked with that I was absolutely in love with. I can say this because he never watches my videos. I was don't so in love with him. And I don't have to say a name. But he like posted a picture of stuff of like doodles that I gave him and everything, and it was just so cute and it just made me like you're tearing up my heart, boy. <laughs> you can't tug at my heartstrings like that. I was in love with you. So that's it, guys. I hope this was a little bit helpful of us talking about this new Disney College program because we definitely both have experience and everything. And like I said, just Google it. There's tons of blogs that can help you and everything. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's great. It's it's awesome experience working for Disney. But yeah, so we're gonna go now. <gasps> Bye guys! And you gotta go and make a heart and go do 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 and then you gotta you gotta eat it. Ready? Have to eat it. Do you do that? You have to do that every single time. Okay? Yeah. Make a heart. Okay? And then you eat it. Okay? Alright. Forget this, it's done. <laughs>